Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Greetings in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By new and living way, I welcome all of you to listen to the word of God. And God has created a beautiful way through Lord Jesus Christ for us to have a relationship with the Father God through Jesus' flesh. What a blessing, right? This day is not going to repeat again in your life. Just be happy and you have to live for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Do your best today. Today I'm going to talk about one particular word. Before that, I want to just mention this word which we are looking at regularly. James 1, 22. But be doers of the word and not hearers one day, deceiving your own selves. Word of God says that we should be doers of the word and not hearers one day. Today we're going to hear a word of God and we're going to do it for the glory of God. Hallelujah. I want to just quote an incident taking place at the time of Jesus Christ birth you know mother Mary I believe so an angel by name Gabriel appeared one day and told mother Mary that the word highly favored and the Lord is with thee blessed art thou among women angel was telling you are highly favored to mother Mary and it's in Luke the gospel first chapter from verses 26 onwards you can see that and Mary was troubled regarding this salutation and what manner of it is you know she doesn't know that what is that Gabriel talking about and he just angel said again fear not Mary for thou hast found favor with God today you and I received favor from God we are so blessed to have Jesus as our personal Savior right so if you have favor of God what more we need everything will you know come to pass in Jesus name and most important I want to quote another verse that talks about the God's power if you look at the verse 37 for with God nothing shall be impossible this was quoted by Gabriel angel Gabriel to mother Mary this occasion the Gabriel was explaining to Mary that God has chosen you you being a virgin and he had a great plan concerning you the Savior is going to be born through you if you read the, the chapter you can understand this and Mary was really not able to exactly catch what Gabriel was talking about in our life also. We do not know what going, what, what's going around us. So we, we may be thinking that this is not going to be possible at all. But here, something what quoted by Gabriel was very clear that for with God, nothing shall be impossible. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. I'm telling you today, you may be in a you know, different situation. You may be thinking whether it's possible or not. I'm telling you like Gabriel, how he said to the Mary, you are a virgin, you are going to give birth to Jesus. Yes, when Holy Ghost came upon Mother Mary. And Mother Mary also said in the following verse, Be it unto me, Lord, according to thy word. The moment she said, she was conceiving Jesus. I'm telling you today, let this word take birth in your life. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Today, whatever you're going to do, you know, you're going to do it by the grace of God. Nothing is impossible with Jesus. You may be thinking, you'll be wondering, the people may say, but I'm telling you today, it is possible. One time I was driving to my office and when I was driving, I saw this word written on the back of the car. But when I went to my office, my boss came to me and asked me, John, how are you? Then I said, this is what I need. He said, it's, it's possible, just come over me. Just come, come over to my cubicle. Then I just went to his place and he said, it's just like that. I approve this. You can go ahead with this. I'm really blessed by the time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today is going to be the new day for you. Enjoy the blessings of the Lord. Bye-bye.